Hey guys, today we're talking about the Samson stretch, a great way to loosen up your hip flexors, and it's a great stretch for people that have back pain. So I wanna talk about a common fault we see when people do this stretch. So the Samson stretch looks like this, and what we'll see a lot of the time is that people will drive their hips forward to try to get that stretch. And you can see almost immediately, it makes my low back go into extension. So we're taking away some of the stretch effect on the hip, and the low back is doing a little more moving than it has to. When we do a Samson stretch, what we wanna do is tuck the hips underneath. So I'm squeezing this glute, and as soon as I do that, I can feel that stretch go down the front of my leg. And that's the position we wanna hold. So I'm relatively straight up and down, shoulder right over my knee, and I'm tucking the hips underneath, feeling that stretch right there. So if you have tight hip flexors, tight quads, or you have low back pain, this is probably a really good stretch for you to work on. When we have tight hip flexors, chronically especially, it can actually change your posture. And what it will do is it'll start pulling your hips this way. That also puts my back into extension. So when that happens over a long period of time, that means that everything you do in a day, walking around, standing up, carrying groceries, you're doing all of that with your back in extension. Just makes those muscles a little more susceptible to being injured or to having some pain. So if you got tight hips, low back pain, give this Samson stretch a try, and remember, tuck the hips underneath, don't lean forward. All right, thanks guys, and I'll talk to you next week.